Um, well, we know that Bloomberg funded groups are, are in a lot of countries. We've we've kind of um, worked out that they're in the UK now. Um, they're all over the place. Uh, but my colleague in America, Lindsay Lindsay Stroud, she did some research uh, about a year ago, looking at where Bloomberg money is being been sent to in low and middle income countries, and found out that about the only countries that 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 they're not going into is the ones with state uh, state owned tobacco industry. So maybe they think well, it's not worth it with them because then um, you know they're 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 going to push their cigarettes anyway. So, but elsewhere they, they they're going into you know these low low income countries and almost writing regulations for them, um, and that's a bit of an attraction for those countries because they've got many things to worry about and they don't want to have to start regulations about products which um, some some countries they're there and some countries they're not. You know, especially in Africa, um, if you go there with with a vaping product some of the infrastructure isn't isn't going to make that product particularly useful for people who smoke uh, you know charging things up and, and that kind of thing but uh, but a product like a nicotine pouch though which which is so simple that could work especially with some of the substances that they that, that people already use you know the, the the weird tobacco kind of thing that that's used in india and and sub-saharan places so um there are different products that could work in those places and most importantly as ash kind of pointed out there about 80 percent of the world's smokers are in low and middle income countries that's where we need to be targeting these products um but but the regulations regulations in those those countries can be a bit of a mishmash and they're not particularly evidence-based who is is lying to them all over the place so um yeah that's that's a, a big big battle for the future and somewhere where there's there's great um potential for some incredible improvements in public health in low and middle income countries we just need to um get those um get those ideas into the governments in those countries and hopefully they'll recognize the, the potential that they could be getting out of it